Ahoy there and welcome back to Building Boys. Now I have issue 126 of How Shirts Build the Titanic. Now in this one, we are building another crane. Now, we built the crane in the last one, so we're not building it twice. That's not happening, right? Well, I am, but we're not filming it. So if you need to see the crane being filmed, you can go back to the last one, and that's how the crane is built. This is exactly the same. This is a rinse and repeat. But what we'll do in this one is show where that crane is going to go and how to attach the deck. Uh, we also have a plate to install to the hull. So this is quite a short video, but the actual work involved when you do it will be slightly longer because you've got to build the crane. Um, it's looking nice. I will say this is actually looking nice. And the um, uh, the plate was, I, I thought we were going to get, the, the, when I saw we were getting a plate for the hull, I was like, ooh. And I thought we were getting the big piece, the big magnetic piece is going to cover the engine. That's not what we get. <laughs> we get something very different. Uh, but without further ado, let's get this one open. Let's get this one built. Here is our completed crane. It's bloody wires. Glue those because they're never going to stay still. That's our uh, our completed crane for this one. Um, as I said, if you want to see how exactly how this is built, the last issue shows we're building the same crane three times. So I'm you know, don't put me filming it three times over. But this is the crane. So bring over our poop deck. This is going to go. So we have this section here facing outwards. Uh, this is going to fit into these two holes here and here. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to screw it in place with two AP screws. Okay, so here's where the screw is going to go into here. Let's get one in to secure it. It's one. And one more. And we are done for the cranes for this issue, but then we have a whole plate as well. Now I got really excited when I heard whole plate because I thought it was the big piece that's going to go over the engine room. It isn't. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny little plate that's going to cover up some of the screw holes. And there are more of those to come uh, on the opposite side of the ship. But yeah, it's okay. At least that's not the entire issue. Um, that would have been a nightmare. So even though it's short on film, when you're doing this yourself, it's going to take a lot longer because naturally you've got to build that crane. Um, so that... Our cranes in place, and that is. Oh, I'll sort these wires out. I've got to glue these wires down. I thought I'd get away with not gluing them, but they definitely need gluing. But that's how we're looking at this stage, right? So let's bring the hull up, and we're going to put this plate on. Okay, well the plate's going to go. The soft four castle here. Uh, we are going to slot it. If we just move along this section here, so we have this tiny little plate right here. And this is going to slot into here and get that push right in because we want as flush as possible. And there you go, screw holes covered, plate in. And that is it, so that's covered up nicely. So you can't even see where it is now. Beautiful. Right, so now we, uh, we're done. Let's have a chat. So that's that one done, nice and simple. Again, it's just a repeat of the crane, and we do have to build a third crane. That's not in the next one, thankfully. We have a bit of a crane break in the next one, um, but it, it's done. Uh, so that's two cranes fit to the deck. Again, with, with the cables, you're going to need to glue them because mine just keep popping out. I thought I'd get away without gluing them. I didn't want to use glue, but they've got to be glued because those will, those will just be a nightmare. They're just going to keep popping out, and I don't want that. You don't want that. We don't want that, you know? Um... But that's it for this one. So with that plate as well, actually works a treat. It covers it up. I mean, it's like my eyes, my my terrible old eyes. I was looking at it going, I can't even see where that plate went. Um, so that's good. That's a really good thing. It, it does its job. It covers the um, it covers the screw holes. Now there are some more of those that are going to go on, but not for a while. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought. Um, that's it for the build instructions. If you're sticking around for our Titanic talk, we're talking about cash money. Um, so a lot of cash from a lot of different um, uh, currencies was on board the Titanic, like a lot of it, a hell of a lot of it, um, because you have very wealthy people on board that were from all over the world. But could you spend it? Um, no. So Titanic took two types of currency. It took dollars and it took uh, pounds. That was it, sterling. So British pounds and dollars, that was it. So if um, you got on board with, you know, 100 grand in francs, it's pretty much worth it's on the Titanic. However, you could change it. So they did have a purser, so you could go and you could exchange uh, your currency for British or American currency. So naturally, if you're sailing from the UK, you're going to want to change your currency to dollars when you go to America. So anything you got left over, you could change on board. However, 
the exchange rate was abysmal. Anyone that's ever been abroad knows full well that um, like the airport worst place, worst exchange rate there is. It was similar to the Titanic. So the, the exchange rate on Titanic was absolutely shocking. Um, it depended on the currency. So to change to dollars and pounds wasn't so bad. Um, that, that was actually quite a nice exchange rate. But there was no reason to do it whilst you're on the Titanic. Because again, they'd take either. However, to change, say, francs or lira, um, yen, whatever it was, to, they absolutely destroyed you. <laughs> Depends on what you were, what you were, um, what you were trading in. So it, it it was it was something that was offered, but um, it's something you wouldn't do. Um, most of the things were provided. So like meals and whatnot. I mean, even if you were in third class, meals were part of your ticket, so you didn't have to buy them. The only thing you need to spend money on board were kind of little, little extra items. Um, so if you wanted to use the Turkish bath, for example, that cost money. That wasn't free. That didn't come as part of it. Um, first class ladies did get free access to swimming. Um, and they also got free access to Turkish bath. No one else did, um, but first class ladies did. And they had their own time in there. So it wasn't it wasn't mixed. Like The swimming wasn't mixed. It wasn't men and women swimming together. Um, the women got their own time in the pool. They also got their own time in the gym as well. Um, but again, the gym was something that cost extra money. If you weren't in first class, the only person that got to use the gym outside of first class was um, the boxer that we spoke about a few issues ago. He was invited to use the gym. They saw it as prestigious to have, um, have an elite athlete using their gym. Um, but there you go. So there was a lot of different currencies on board, a hell of a lot. And a lot of that money went to the bottom of the ocean. Um, but a lot of it was useless unless you changed it for the extortionate rates in the person's office. Um, so there you go. That's that's what currency was. Somebody asked me what currency was used on the Titanic. Now you know. You can use dollars and pounds on the Titanic at the same time, but nothing else. Uh, that's all for this one. We'll be back very, very soon, issue 127, where we are finally joining the uh, the F Wild deck to the poop deck. Um, so we'll have one piece. Two pieces become one piece. And that's it. All our decks are then complete. That's it. There's no more decks to build. Decks are built. We have some um, additional pieces to put on these, but we have no more decks to construct because we are we are creeping towards the end. That's 126, and we've got 14 left to go. Scary, isn't it? Scary how close we're getting. Uh, if you've enjoyed that, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps the channel massively. It really does. If you've got any questions, you can contact us at buildingtheboys at outlook.com. Um, but that is all from me. In a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. We'll be back very soon with issue 127. Take care, and I will see you soon. Thank you.